This is Job 28 and 28. And unto the man he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Brakatha Yahweh, Brakatha Yahweh Shai, Kal Halal Yamla, Alahayanawa, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor. To the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. This is the brother Bashar from the GMS Bahamas camp back at you with this truth. Yeah, Kim. Uh, I watched a video, two disturbing videos actually. You know, that's what motivated me to, 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 to do this video. One from uh, Elder Apostle Gabar and one from uh, Kodash Shabbat Shabai on this uh, ex lead, I think, of the Charlotte Camp. I think it's the Charlotte Camp, so lack of I get the wrong camp. But all of us in the know, we know uh, 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 what camp it is, you know. And, 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 and I saw this Jake man, and you could see that he's bugged out. You know, the most I really could jack you up. The most I really could jack you up. Could give you over to a reprobate mind. You know, you could go from a brother speaking against having tattoos to try to find a justifiable reason why it's okay for you to have tattoos and you using the scriptures to, to, to try to justify your, your, your foolish point. What don't make no sense at all. You use these scriptures to say at, in the beginning that to show us that you ain't supposed to have no marks upon you to have tattoos. And now you're trying to say it's okay to have tattoos. Let me go into the book of Leviticus. This is the book of Leviticus 19 and 28. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Now, the Jake Malak Shah. I think that's his name. He's saying that, you know, he have tattoos on him, but he ain't got no tattoos on him for the dead. You know, like R.I.P. R. 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 Probably, let's say John R.I.P. He's saying that he don't have no tattoos on him for the dead. But the scripture also say, nor print any marks upon you. So, even if you don't have nothing on you saying R.I.P. for the dead, you ain't supposed to have no marks printed on your skin. I myself have uh, one or two tattoos on me when I've been stupid before I came into this truth. Which in, uh, uh, that, that, that was Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai showing mercy on me because the most I could have killed me from dead, but me not being, but me being um, I'm, I'm ignorant of his word at that time. You know, I put these tattoos on me and I put these on me in a late age. Being, uh, it's like a late age in my life being stupid. You know, you go. You can go from teaching that you ain't supposed to print no marks on you, to saying to find a justifiable reason why you have marks. And he using the word he using in Leviticus 19 and 28, where it say nor print any marks upon you, saying that it's a conjunction or some other shit to try to justify his reason to say why he have tattoos on him. You ain't supposed the scripture say you ain't supposed to have no marks print upon you. Period. Whether it be a mark for the dead or it be any other marks upon you. The scripture said you ain't supposed to have no marks printed on you. Period. That's how I know too when I look at you. I could see you was totally bugged out. Alright. Let me read this again. This is Job 28 and 28. And unto the man he said, Behold, the fear of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. You can look at that Jake and see. E, 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 e gone oh, oh man scary this is our Hebrews 13 Hebrews 13 and 21 make you make you perfect in every good work to do his will <clears throat> Slack. waking in you that which is well pleasing in his sight through Yahweh Shai 
Hamashayak, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. The scripture say, Make you perfect in every good work to do his will, waking in you that which is well pleasing in his sight. Now, whatever was going on with that Jake, apparently this scripture here wasn't that that didn't apply. For the most high to give you over to a reprobate mind as he did him. And to see to see the stupid Jake trying to find every justifiable reason for him having the tattoos on him. I've been like, whoa. This is first Peter five and six. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour and it's clear to us that 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 the devil devoured malak shah the most i give you over to a reprobate mind and that only could happen if yahweh bahashem yahweh shai sanction it that's clear Like I said, brother could go from uh, 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 speaking against having tattoos. Because I watched a video last night where he was speaking about it. I think it's uh, this GMS North Carolina. The elder put up a... Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I think he's the elder. The elder put up a beautiful video on him. Malak Shah did speaking on tattoos. You've been in the truth for all of these years. And after you got kicked out from GMS, you're going to get tattoos. Oh man, this is our Luke 21 and 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with safeguarding and drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of of the whole earth which ye therefore salah watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man we know that when yahweh bahashem yahweh shai when yahweh shai cracked them skies when he come back he ain't coming plain he ain't coming plain. This is our James 4 and 7. Submit yourselves therefore to Yahweh. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Submit ourselves unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. You know, uh, 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 continuing praying, fasting, reading, you know, going out to camp. Putting up these lessons uh, and just hope and, and pray that 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 the most I find us worthy, like I said in the book of Luke, to escape these things that is, that is going to come upon the earth. You know, when I look at that brother man, like yeah, I tell you that that oh man, that's that's scary. That is scary. This is Ephesians four and twenty seven. Neither give place to the devil. You give place to Satan, Satan gonna jump up in you, he's gonna hop up in you, and he's gonna corrupt your mind, he's gonna corrupt your thinking. He is gonna corrupt your mind and your thinking. You know, and 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 we, we could see that's what happened to that Jake. You know, like I say, I can say again, you could go from speaking against having tattoos on you to putting tattoos on you. And speaking about our beloved apostles and elders who taught us this truth, that who we are, we are the Israelites, uh, taught us Hebrew, taught us the true names of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Wai, Yahweh Shai, and you're going to come up against them and, and scoff at the true men of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. You waste, 
you more waste than when you um, he more waste than when he came in this truth. You could see that man because he he ain't speaking in, in accordance to this doctrine anymore. He's speaking against this. This is Hebrews ten and twenty three. Let us hold fast the profession of our hope without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. We got to hold fast to this profession of our hope without wavering, being skeptical on things, certain things. Continue in the doctrine that you have learned and who you have learned it from, our beloved apostles and elders. To water Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, for me having such great teachers. Because I know that with, with everything within me that GMS has 100% truth. And no one can tell me nothing else. No one. I, 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 have, I have this kind of mind. Once I believe in something, I want to die believing in that. You know, and, 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 and we only can pray that, that the most I find us faithful and worthy. You know, this is a precept all of us know by heart. This is Psalms 51 and 11. But I could take it from 10. This is the book of Psalms 51 and 10. Create in me a clean heart, O power, and renew a right, salak, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. This is King David quoting this now. Let me read that again. 50, Psalms 51 and 11. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And that's what happened to that Jake. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors slang. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. This is King David Mans telling the Most High to cast it not from his presence because that's a fearful thing. When I think about that, Joe, that, that, that Jake, that has shaken me up. This is the book of Job 12 and 10. In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. All of us in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's hand. And like I say, Salak, he coming up against our, 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 our apostles and our elders who taught us this truth. You know, it's like it's like he had this, this in him for a little while, but I don't really know the details of it, how it all uh, 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 took place. But the most I got him jacked right up. You could see, you could see he don't look right now from how he was Back then, it's like, like I said, I watched some videos with him. I watched about two or three of them last night, and I saw his teachings, and I've been like, whoa. From then to now? Oh, man. This is Job 12 and 16. With him. And who's that him? Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Job 12 and 16. With him is strength and wisdom. And, and, Salah, with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the, the deceived and deceiver are his. That's Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. I close it with this last scripture. Get out of here. This is not a precept of all that we know by heart. This is the book of Hebrews ten and thirty one. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Yeah, it's a fearful thing because Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai could jack you up. Like I said, that 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 those videos I saw, that really shake me up. You know? That put more fear into me. You know, that 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 really shake me up. Oh man. Just just sitting here thinking about that. But in your Akim, with that, I hope you were edified. I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to the supreme power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Kodash. Double honor. Double honor.
to the apostles and Ellis of Great Millstone because that's where I learned this truth from and still learning. Peace and salutation to the hopefully elect. You are him them. Uh, 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 if you get kicked out of GMS, start with me myself. Don't don't stop teaching. Continue to teach, and teach the correct doctrine. And remember who you learned it from. Don't go against the apostles and elders because they're the men of the Lord. The apostles and elders of GMS. Don't go against them. Continue to teach the correct doctrine. Like I say, I go say again. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Because that's where I learned this truth from. And I'm still learning. Peace and salutation to the hopefully lack and the four ones doing the work in humility and charity. Risking your lives to do so. To you, I salute. Shalom.